Hi, I'm Mark Schwartz uh, with PDT and Astronics Company, and today we're demonstrating Li-Fi. Uh, if you remember at Apex, we demonstrated the first generation of Li-Fi, which uses visible light from the PSU. This year, we're showing off Li-Fi XL, which is twice as fast. In fact, in fact, it'll do 80 megabits per second. But it also is interesting because it's using high density infrared technology, so there is no visible light at all. One of the complaints we heard is why would you want to watch a movie with the light on? Well, there's a solution for that by using infrared, which of course you can't see. As you can see, our old demo was using and streaming an HD movie. And if I cover the dongle, you see the fuel gauge drop. And again, we're using Li-Fi this year. It's faster. We're doing a higher uh, resolution 4K movie. And then similarly, if I cover this, you see the fuel gauge drop off. One thing that's interesting about Li-Fi is they're becoming part of the IEEE standard. Um, they're going to be part of the framework for 5G to be used in complement with Wi-Fi. So we think this is an important technology when um, the demands on Wi-Fi get really high when 5G comes into play. Um, Wi-Fi is going to be very important and even an uh, agency like IEEE um, recognizes that now. Here we're showing a new next generation concept for content loading. Today's standard is content loaders use high density hard drives and they only update the content on each airplane once a month. And in order to do it, maintenance people have to go on each plane and, and, and load the content manually. So it's very kind of archaic. Our new concept is that all the content would live in the cloud on a server and once 24, most people use their apps now for airplanes. So once you checked in, it would know who I am and what seat I'm in. And at that point, after checking in, I could pick all the content that I would like to watch on the plane. So I could pick a couple movies. You'll see the movies come up over here on this screen as they're downloaded from the cloud. I can also pick the training classes, home and garden. I can pick Game of Thrones. And you'll see they're starting to populate on the screen that would be in the airplane. Once all the passengers load their content, the, the, the cloud-based server would go down to the airplane and basically clean up and make a mirror image of what content it needs for that particular flight. So as the airplane comes into the gate, you'll see the Li-Fi light light and upload to the airplane the content that everyone has ordered. Similarly, you could enable Li-Fi on, say, a luggage cart. So if you didn't want to actually change the airport, you could put Li-Fi on the cart, which could go down to the plane and then do a quick download of Li-Fi. So we're really excited about this technology because the current way to do content loading, in my mind, is kind of like blockbuster video. Hey, honey, do you want to get a movie? Gosh, I got to go drive to the store and get it, and guess what? They don't have it. Um, where this is much more like Google, Netflix. The other thing about the app is driving more people to the app is healthy because the airlines will start to learn more about your tendencies and what you're into and you'll be able to do things like targeted ads to help generate more revenue. Again, next generation, but we think, we hope that it gets there someday.